Luke chapter 2 kitabu cha Luka sura ya 2 verse 41 mstari wake wa 41 Father we thank you for the reading of the word Baba tunakushukuru kwa kwa neno la Mungu bless you for relevance tunakushukuru the meaning in life katika maana katika maisha bless your children bariki watoto wako bless my life as well bariki hata maisha as i'm used as a pipeline through which you give revelation to your people ninapotumiwa kama chombo katika ufunuo wako thank you for what you are able to do asante kwa kile unazofanya in jesus name katika jina la yesu amen amen take your seats in the presence of the lord tini chukua chukua viti zangu hallelujah hallelujah thank you amen amen there are unique things within this exact ladies and gentlemen kuna kitu cha muhimu sana ama kitu cha maana sana katika hii sehemu it had become a custom to the Jews to be attending to some certain feasts nimekuwa ilikuwa kama desturi na mila ili ya kwamba hao hao yahudi wakaweza kushiriki and what was limited to attend until you were of a certain age kuna vingine vilikuwa vimewekwa viwango mpaka ufikishe umri fulani big a tradition explains it was law mila ilikuwa ni sheria now when jesus had come to the age of 12 years wakati Yesu alipofika umri wa miaka 12 it came to the attention of his parents yeye alikuja akawa makini katika nini to present him to the house of god wakamleta mbele yake mungu they are things they have not discovered about him kuna vitu ambavyo hawakuwa wamemkundua kwa mungu listen to me brethren isikilizeni wapendwa there is some certain seed in you kuna mbegu fulani ndani mwako you will never see it manifest utaiona ikijidirisha until you locate yourself to the right and by the way kumbaka wakati utakapojitambua wakati fulani there is some higher levels of wisdom kuna kiwango fulani cha hekima revelation ufunuo interpretation of the word of god kupambanua kwa neno understanding of the things of the spirit na kuelewa vitu katika ulimwengu wa roho that was with jesus ambavyo vilikuwa na yesu but he had not even discovered that he had that ability yeye hakuwa amekujua kwamba ana hiyo uwezo until after he had been presented to the altar baada ya yeye kuletwa katika madhabahu because when you are presented to the altar kama unapoletwa madhabahuni it is activated hiyo kitu inajileta gains relevant inachikuta inakuwa na umaana you can relevance today uweze upeana umaana siku ya leo because you are listening kwa sababu unanisikiliza in the name of Jesus katika jina la Yesu now they had to fulfill the law lazima wakamilishe ile ile sheria by taking their son to the house of god kupeleka mtoto wao katika nyumba ya they brought Jesus to the presence of god wakati walipoleta Yesu katika nyumba ya Mungu the activity baada ya kitendo the seed of a took them iliwashinda haleluya haleluya because it with the head Jesus ili kuamilia Yesu to where he belongs mahali ambapo anahitajika now it would not have been so haiinge kwa imepanda until after he had been dedicated baada ya yeye kuwekwa wakfu when you dedicate your children wakati unapoweka watoto wako wakfu you lay a foundation for them unaweka msingi kwao a foundation that will determine their end result msingi ambao utaleta majibu mazuri it is their future hiyo ni maisha yao ya mbele look at this ladies and gentlemen angalia hiyo wapendwa there is a reason why we must dedicate our children kuna sababu ambayo inafanya tuweke watoto wako because we come from a bloodline we are not proud of toka mahali ambapo sio pazuri we are born by parents we are not proud of tulizaliwa na wazazi ambao hatuwafurahi some of you are here you looking at me and your mother is a witch wewe huko hapo unaniangalia na mama yako ni mchawi and you know she's a witch na wewe unajua ni mchawi you are not proud you must love me na you must love me na mama mbona ndo mlosi hapo baba ndo mlosi wewe mama yako ni mchawi na unajua ni mchawi Jogora habanda hata wao wa bii watu yakukuna mbele kwa mwana wa fua yomia ya rabu yeye yeah, amechukua mtoto aliyekufa amekaushwa ameweka juu ya mabati bila kodi ya mama wale yako kusomea hiyo uchawi ya mama yako ndiye imekusomesha abadi baada ya rabu pesa ni era abadi na wira kusomea yeye yeah, yeah, watu wameleta pesa anaua watu ndiye anakupeleka shule so you are like go wewe uko hivyo yeah, ndio uko hivyo mama uchawi has taken me to school na hata uchawi mama yako amekupeleka shuleni but you are not proud of it uja furahia hiyo so the reason we need to get our children sababu ya kuweka watoto wakfu is so that ili ya kwamba we can be associated to them ili ya kwamba tukaweza kuwalinganisha na from the patterns in our blood that we are not proud of uko na na sehemu na ama mtindo wa maisha yetu ambayo tunaishi ah 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 ya mitindo yale katika damu ya kwetu ambayo hatutifuni Hello? 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 In your blood, katika madamu yenu, nobody hosts a wife. 
Hakuna mtu anakaribisha mke. Nobody hosts a woman. Hakuna mtu anapata mume. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nobody makes it like academics. Hakuna mtu anaenda kwa masomo mbaya. The way it happened in your guka. Kile kilifanyika katika mapenzi. It has happened in your fathers. Imetendeka kwa kwa baba zenu. It has happened in your aunties. Imetendeka hata kwa mashangazi wako. It has become the same song. Imekuja na ndiye imekuwa mtindo. In your marriage. Katika ndoa yako. You have to come to a level. Lazima ufike kiwango. Well, and I come on no I have to dedicate my children lazima niweke watoto wangu wa when you dedicate your children wakati watoto wako wako you disassociate them unawatenga from the evil foundation katika misingi mibaya that was established by your father ambaye iliwekwa na wazazi wetu hallelujah hallelujah some of your people are the enemies of God wengine ni maadui wa Mungu that's why they never succeeded ndio sababu hawakufaulu they died immaturely mtu walikufa hata mapema worship to God hata hawakumuomba Mungu they never accomplished anything they never went to school they never had families they had no houses no shambas no development they lived a painful life they worked so hard but produced little when you dedicate your children you are recognizing and that you will be no more tomorrow so you are committing your child unaweka mtoto wako in the hands of god una kunaweka mtoto wako kwa accountability purpose ya kwamba uhesabike kela simply try to declare in public unatangaza kwa umati hata ayarani cognize na unatambua that my child ya kwamba mtoto wangu is a blessing yeye ni baraka kutoka kwa mungu and whatever has been given by god yote ulichopewana na mungu can only be sustained by god inaweza lindwa tu na mungu Blessed be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Now your parents knew that you will be no more tomorrow. Wazazi wako walijua kwamba kesho hautakuwa. No, no, they they knew they would be no more tomorrow. Walijua kwamba hawatakuwa kesho. That's why they took you to the altar. Ndio sababu walikupeleka kwa madhabahu. Dedication. Wao kuwekwa wakfu. Ah, blessed be the name of Jesus. They brought you to the altar. Walikuleta wewe kwa madhabahu. They did have money. Walikuwa ndio na pesa. But they took onion from the shepherd. Wao kutoa kwa mama ni they took the tomatoes. Wakachukua nyanya they took the vegetables wakachukua mboga they took the banana wakachukua tandizi to the church kwa kanisa as an offering kama sadaka that bears your name ili ya kwamba ilinde so that they dedicate you to the ili ya kwamba wakuweke wakati by this sacred ndio sababu wakati kama huu break the patterns of blood wakakata uhusiano wa kidamu they kill the ill intention of the person whose name you are called wakakata uhusiano wa jina ambalo liitwa yule mtu hallelujah hallelujah now when you are brought to the altar wakati unapoletwa kwa madhabahu hallelujah hallelujah the priest spoke some words nabi ama ama kuhanya na nena maneno upon your life juu ya maisha yako what happened nini kilifanyika that today you are a drunkard kwa nini leo wewe ni mlevi tell me family familia niambie what happened nini kilifanyika that today ya kwamba leo you are vanished with integrity uko na mambo uko na shida na tabia na tabia na hulka na hulka what happened? Nini ilifanyika? That the child who was dedicated to on the altar. Mtoto mwenye aliwekwa kwa madhabahu is the serving chairman of Mungiki today. Yeye ndiye mkubwa wa Mungiki. What happened along the way? Nini ilifanyika njiani? That this child who was dedicated to on the altar. Huyu mtu mwenye aliwekwa wakfu na Mungu ama kwa madhabahu is the one in charge of 42 brothers in Yeye ndiye ni ile wa ndugu wa 42. Your parents knew they would not control you. Man, um, wazazi wako walijua kwamba hawawezi die after they catch up with age. Watakufa kabla hawajafikisha miaka fulani. So they are like let us take you to where you belong. Wanaamua kukupeleka mahali ambapo ulitoka. What happened? Nini ilifanyika? Along the way. Katika kwa kutembea ama katika njia. Get me now. Nipate. That the very child who was dedicated for the old. Huyo huyo mtoto aliyewekwa wakfu is the one who is selling Simba and the Empire today. Huyu anauza Simba na Empire leo pombe. There is something that happened along the way. Kuna kitu kilifanyika. That the very child who was dedicated to the altar. Huyu mtoto mwenye aliwekwa wakfu kwa madhabahu. The priest spoke powerful words. Ambaye kuhanya linena maneno mazito katika maisha yake. Maneno ambayo yatalinda maisha yake. That will give you a destiny. 
ambaye itakupatia nini yako live a fulfilling life for you uishi maisha ambayo yamekamilika but in a state the opposite is true iko kwa kwa upande mwingine ikawa kinyume na wewe the very child today ni huyo huyo mtoto who is breaking other people's marriages ni huyo mama mtoto anavunja ndoa za watu what happened nini ilifanyika something happened along the way kuna kitu kilifanyika what we have read in the book of luke kile kile tumesoma katika kitabu cha luka mnamo wa pita kwa Joseph and Mary presented Jesus baada ya Maria na Yusufu kupeleka Yesu kwa kwa kuhani they left the place walitoka hapo mahali going home wakienda nyumbani not knowing bila kujua that Jesus was not in their midst ya kwamba kumbe Yesu hakukuwa katika chao the bible says biblia nasema they walked from the temple walitoka kanisani to their house mpaka kwa nyumba yao a one day journey siku moja safari ya siku moja from western to nairobi kutoka kutoka magharibi mpaka nairobi not knowing bila kujua they are on mtoto wao wa pekee is not in their midst hayuko pamoja nao an act of irresponsibility uto kujukumika yes mama ndio mama you dedicate your child uli uliweka mtoto wako wako but the bible says lakini biblia inasema raise your child lea mtoto wako in the way they should go katika njia yupasayo and after they are grown na katika kukua kukua kwao not be separated hawatatengana from that katika hiyo Joseph and Mary faith Yusufu na Maria walishinda how do you walk a one day journey kwa kutembea safari ya siku moja I remember this yesterday and I called this man of God mimi nakumbuka hiki kitu nikamuita huyu mtu wangu while he was traveling all the way from Kazi alipokuwa anatoka kule magharibi so I ask him nikamuuliza I know you are with your wife najua uko na mke wako but Manu ako wapi Manu yeye is Manu I think he was stupid he never knew what I meant hakujua kile alikuwa bidi kinga hakujua kile maanisha he never knew what I meant hakujua kile nilikuwa namaanisha I was just but mentioning the language of accountability nilikuwa naongea na sauti tu ile ya kujugumika to be sincere kukuwa makini parents in the present generation or wazazi katika kizazi hiki they have failed wameshindwa they have failed wameshindwa it has been left to be the responsibility of the teachers imekuwa majukumu wameacha majukumu yao kwa wazazi children for us lakini sasa hii watoto wetu and even as they raise the children for us hata kama wanalea watoto wetu we are we are put conditions on them tumewawekea masharti fulani If they do like this, wakifanya hivi, we take them to the court. Tuna wakifanya hivi tuwapeleka kotini. So teachers are like, watoto wa walimu ni kama anayefingwa. Hao ni wachinga hao. Na afuko ya HSC au wenye abera. Wacha wacha tusomeshe wakupita pita wakuanguka anguke. Sasa walimu shaalome ro mwana. So, taalimu hawezi kufuatilia mtoto wako. Na ashukue. Wacha anguke mtiani. Maana inda kana yuhubo na robo. Lakini Biblia imetuambia hivi. Shola Shola rusumu ana kushiboko tawe simunyime mtoto kiboko muondole tandika <laughs> mtoto anakimbia jikoni anachukua kikombe anakuja kuweka sitting room anarudi anachukua kingi analet by the time tunangaje vikombe 12 za ushirika ziko and I was like who is this na mama yake anamwambia baba acha kufanya hivi acha and that I did that statement <laughs> Mimi nimwambia nitakulima mama yako kila toka mchinga kwenda ufanye uko wasi na mchinga hivi. Sasa mwana holangario na aliwabe. Mtoto anafanya hivyo na yako kwa wenyewe. Saidie kwa simu nicheze game. Ngine na atie wao na akienda kwao. Mimi la mwana with all the number change mtu. Wewe uko na wageni kwa nyumba. Mwana leo mtoto anatoka huko na sio ndio mkono kuko moja ni yote na anaweka mkono kwa mboga ya mgeni tadi wacha kufanya hivyo acha hiyo hundo mundo lo kofi tandika mtoto kofi bwana sifiwe mama dalto please let not this children look like the kayole is ah watoto wasikae na ukayole mwingi we could be staying in kayole ndio tunaweza kwa tunaishi kayole but we are men and women of a class sisi ni wana wanaume na wanawake wa children are children of a class so wetu ni wa kiwango fulani kiwango mzuri just because you are loose in character kwa sababu wewe umepotoka katika katika tabia you've also 
given too much freedom to a child. Wewe umepewa watoto wako uhuru wa kufanya kila wanapenda. My boys here they know. Watoto wangu hapo hapo vijana wangu hapo wanajua. In the house there is full time uh, Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi hii iko kwa nyumba kila mas kila saa. But they know. Lakini wanajua. When to go on YouTube. Na wanajua masaa ya kwenda YouTube. I know, I know the sites. Najua sehemu za kwenda kwenda YouTube. Wanajua. Nikupata umepandika teacher ya Afro utasahau jina yako. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> Shwani, sasa mmaache DJ Fro alee watoto. So unakuja kwa nyumba mto DJ Fro amekutoa nguo mbele ya watoto wako. Ukiingia hapo kwa mainaba jikoni, mtoto anakumbuka kile mwalimu wake amemwambia kwa YouTube. Simu yako mtoto wako anacheza nayo bila anataka. Usikukue kwa na mipaka kwa wazazi. Oba kana ndio sura ni shona wenye wewe ngo zako za ndani unaandika tu bila unataka mwana kwa hasana luk sura kwa mama mtoto anaamka anaona tu sura ya mama hapo inaandikwa hapo kwa Joseph and Mary failed Yusufu na Maria walishindwa on the issue of accountability kwa kujihesabika katika kulea mtoto wewe ndio kwa na kwa rada Felix sana wewe umezaa umeza mtoto anakaa na Felix hapa kosi ingira bedroom hiyo anasimama kwa kwa anaingia kwa bedroom yako ama kichumba chako cha kulala Shumba hundo liyali. Situ kwenko tuna heshima. Look here. Angalio. Even when you dedicate your child. Hata kama utameta mtoto wako wako. There are words I'm going to speak over that. Kuna maneno naenda kutamuka juhi ya watoto. And you fit on your side as a mother. Na wewe ushidwa kama baba. Mme wako anarudika melewa. Sisi ya melewa. Na chanege za nambe ya rengalaya. Mme wako anarudika kama melewa. Melewa ya rengwa na kama kalama. Na hini kilewa na lalanga kifudifudi. Waze hako hali ya. Hapa hapa kalama wako. You are planting a seed. Yet I am planting a seed today. Unapanda mbegu ndio lakini hata leo ninapanda mbegu. I want to plant a seed. Nataka kupanda mbegu leo. But your husband will also plant a seed. Na hata mzee wako atapanda mbegu. You have to know how to protect the seed that I want to plant. Hiyo hiyo ita itabidi ufanye ulinde hiyo mbegu nitakayoipanda leo. So if you don't. Kama hutalinda. That one of your husband. Hiyo yako ya bwana yako. And now because your boy is so close to him. Kwa sababu watoto vijana wako karibu na yeye. Hata leo kwanza Mhm. Akina tata kurudi shimbani. Pia anaimba kama baba yake. Nenyo ere bana kama kala. Mimi ningelewa na nalanga kifudifudi. Ah, makalama. Makalama. Kijalicha kwa Kiswahili na kwa Kijalicha. Kijalicha. Ukiona mwanza kuimitate hivyo, atarudi kukoe. Ukiona mtoto anaanza kufanya vile baba yake anafanya pia atarudi kufanya. You are the uncle. Wewe ni mjombaji. Kwa hiyo kwa hiyo umri wako mtoto anakujibu vile anataka mtoto anakujibu vile anataka alafu anamwambia ni sawa tu you have to be your father ujue kwamba wewe ni baba chukua mkwacho chukua kiboko mimi nasemanga hivi serikali ifanye makosa siku moja kushika pasta wiki leo jackson na kuniambia tisikie kula ya watoto my friend nitakukonga nikumwe meno na niende kwa hiyo jela i am proud to go to that nitu where nini kwanza majaji wako kwa hisa makocha ndio wana shughuli case case majaji wenyewe kwanza wamefukuzwa kwa marriage na wao do you expect a right ruling mtu analelewa watoto na shosho wewe do you expect a right ruling je wewe unajua kwamba mtu alilelewa na nyanya yake huyo mtu anaweza kuwa na uamuzi wa kweli kweli parents make sure they don't fight wazazi hakikisheni hamjashindwa these cases imejaa kwa machifu ni kesi ambazo zinastahili kuwa zinatatuliwa na nani na wazazi. Lakini wazazi number one, mama queen, you are not a valuable for your children. Yeah. Wewe haupatikani kwa watoto wako, haupatikani. The right mentor of your uh, children is your house girl. Mtu ambaye unaona kwamba anaweza lida watoto wako ni ni mfanyakazi wa nyumba. Wewe. Wewe. Ikasi ya house girl kenye hana yibo kuwezi mwana wa mzazi. Nyumba ya mchakazi wa nyumba ni kupea mtoto huchi. Si roho ya roho mwana tani. Si kule ya mtoto. Ewe ya roho mwana. Wewe ya mtoto wako. Ni ola au stage flat. Akifika kiwango fulani, mbona refu 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 ndo. Ambia ya kwamba hiki na hiki kinafanyika hivi. The only matter we have for our children today in this generation. Mtu wa kuongoza tu watoto wakati wa kisazi hiki. It is Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry. E wewe hata mwana bi haya ndo lakati katuni. Wewe umeacha tu mtoto anakaa kiangalia katuni. Kwa YouTube. Kwa YouTube otia mtao ni wenda mjini ocherere rudi harengezere ameona katuni baka amelala 
Halabu hafei ni arawe na yo. Ata muka mekojo hako. Kaniero kwa shifumbi. Amejisaidia ame atakubwa kwa kiti. Halo halanga. Shasha. Ambia na. Keep failing. We nelea tu kupoteza ama. You will regret why you have that. We we utashanga kwa nini kwa we na we kwa. Take responsibility. Chukua majukumu. Yes I know because we are in Nairobi and the night of the job. Najua ya kwamba utukwa Nairobi na hali za kazi vile mamaanisha ya libyo. We don't have time. Hatuna muda. Don't tell me we don't have time. Usiseme kwamba sina muda. That you are busy. Kwa sababa chukua na mashukuri nyibi. Hii time unapataka na wanawake wa watu penjona. Hii time. Hii time. Auna time una kwa sababi ya kazi unafanya lakimu kwa na time ya kukana na wanawake wengine. Suwombe kuyo rusa siku mwenye ukai na watu wako to make noise. Make noise with your children. Fanya kelele na watoto wako, cheza na watoto wako. Hello? Hello? Sometimes show them how authority. We mwujishu sa ingine vile mamulaka inafanya kazi. Teach them that we add out of having given. Uwafundishe ya kwamba sisi kile tunapeana kila mbacho tulipewa. No one that our kujanga na sadaka because you are raised wrong. Like at one level. Well, the sababu wa kujanga sadaka kulingana bi bi uliwale. Kila declaration on your mouth is a power. Nikitu cha kutangaza kwa mdu kwa kinyajabo kama mzazi. Of course, a statement of faith. Katika ila maneno ya iman. By the parents to God. Kwa kama wazazi kwa mungu. That they will raise their children under God's grace. Watalea watoto wao katika neema ya mungu na 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 ekima. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are raising your children in the grace of God. Unalewa watoto wako kwa neema ya Mungu. You know where to take them to tap from. Unajua mahali pa kupeleka ili kwamba wapokee. You know a responsible pastor for them. Wewe unajua pastor wa majukumu. You know a good school for them. Wewe unajua shule nzuri. It is expensive but it's a good one. Hiyo ni shule ina pesa nyingi lakini ni shule nzuri. You know the right friends. Wewe unajua marafiki wazuri kwake. Don't let your children play with every boy. Usiache watoto wako wacheza na kila mtoto. I would rather take a car and carry my daughter to go and play with another child at the gym. Afadhali nichukue mtoto wangu nimweke kwa gari nimupeleke acheza na watoto wengine kule. Please, a game about to win the packa. Huyu kaone, ukaende ni mimi kwa sababu katika wake watoto wetu ni packa. Do you love yourself? How many of you love yourself? Wangapi wanachipenda? Can we give that to our children? Je, tunaweza kupeana watoto hiyo? Can we give that to our children? Tunaweza peana hiyo watoto? May God bless you. Mungu awabariki sana. Hello? Hello? And you parents. Yenyu wazazi. Do not disgrace your children. Usiwasumbue watoto wenu. Niulize swali wazazi. Are your children proud of you? Je, watoto wako wanakufurahia? Mama dad Lofu anangati puti nosi ya usuku ni kaya para nisidei Mwakatu unafaanga puti ukienda shuleji siku ya wazazi Are your children confident enough? Jee watoto wangu wana kufura yoki kukimbiliyo kisema To tell their friend there comes our wazazi Wambia wazazi wame mama yetu diwe ya nakuja Abana kwa kumanyo kwa yoba shona wame manye Watoto wana kujua kuliko vile yoba na wajua Ufu anisu yuko tela na diyo survivor na diyo Diyo unama oji moja ukiishi nayo Yarado hano Imeraruka hapa Itoji irano Hiko kikiranka hapa Hano gulai son Na hata una hibu Motita uskuli yaba na basoma Unaenda kwa shule nye watoto wena soma Haa wongudu do hae 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 Wongudu Oliremino yeminu ya makanda ka makoma kwa wewe ulikula maharagwe makanda ya maharagwe imekwama kwa meno huku subua ni sukuma ni anda ano sukuma imekwama kwa meno hapa so na nyere the last time you are hata uji ulipiga mswaki meno hapa kwa sababu kule microphone ya school tena unaenda kuchukua microphone ya shule habari habari yetu sns yo mimi siwa so and so mimi ndio kwa kwa plan na plan please parents tafadhali wazazi get us take responsibility tuchukue majukumu yetu ah brethren Wapendo. Can we be responsible? Tuchukumike wapendo. Yes, we can. Yes, tunawezi. Now, hallelujah. Hello. So, to dedicate your child, it means to recognize that your child is a gift from God. Now, for you to manage a gift, you have to be in partnership. Now, you have to be in partnership. You have to be in partnership. Lazima muwe katika ushirika with where it came from. Mahali ilitoka. Let them know mama is a worship. Waje wajue kwamba mama ni muabudu. Let them know that daddy is a worship. Waje wajue kwamba baba ni muabudu. But if they know you the other way, 
Lakini wakikujua kwa aina ya nyingine, wizamu tunonywa aina baba. Wewe unakuja kwa nyumba ukivuta sigara. Hado bila hizo nika. Na hata una hii. Omwada wana miaka 5. Mtoto wako ana miaka 3. Yamanyo mosi kwenda bako la kuu. Anajua harufu ya moshi ya sigara. Ana ndo kubora. Hii ni kraiko. Hii ni kraiko. Ini ndaba ini koshe. Hii ni avuya. Hii ni superman. Hii ni ni superman. Hii ni sportsman. Hii ni sportsman. Na hii ni nzaka ya wajako. Hii ni ni bangi ya wajako. At that age, katika hiyo miaka can we raise our children based on where they came from? Je, tusiulea watoto kwa njia ambayo ambayo mahali walitoka. We say children are a blessing from the Lord. Kwa sababu watoto ni baraka kutoka kwa Mungu. Every blessing is sacrificial. Kwa sababu kila baraka ni 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 ndabiu. Is sacrificial. Lazima kuinikuta. You cannot get anything out of it until you sacrifice. Huwezi kupata kitu chochote ndani mpaka uitolee ndabiu. Tafadhali, ewe wale roho yanishipangalia. Wewe ulilelewa tu kama mkebe. Lano kulo kumera na hapo ikesi ya. Kwa sababu leo nimekuhunyesha, ila na hapa na mbubula hii. Lea kutu watu wako kuzuli. Samo basi tutu kwa fana hama koso nyume. Sisi tutifanya makoso kuli. Hama koso kwa hama nashiki na shukwale kwa manya. Hama koso ya nifanyiku kwa sababu atuko tunajua. Lano kulo kumera kwa hama nyume. Lakini kwa sababu leo tumejua. Lea kwa hama hama na bekule. Lea wa tutu wetu kwa njia mzuli. You still believe me? Je, mbana unaniamini? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it is a symbolic moment in this church today. Ni wakati mwafaka katika nyumba katika kanisa hili leo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As mama queen entrusts her child's life with God's will. Kama mama wetu queen anatarajia maisha ya mtoto yake ya kuwa ya kimungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She is simply trying to declare. Anaamua kutangaza in the presence of many witnesses. Katika macho ya washahidi wengi. Let go. Ya kwamba Mungu, let your will be Wacha mapenzi yako yatendeke juu ya huyu mtoto. I refuse Kiarie to be the forefather. Ninakataa Kiarie kuwa baba yake wa kitambo. I'm not even a forefather. Mimi hata si baba yake wa mbeleni. Because my blood is contaminated. Kwa sababu damu yangu imeganda. Let not Oponyo become the father. Wacha Oponyo asikuwe baba yake baba yake. Amko mnala maloko mayende maloba maloba amkobole amkobole aseka aseka wate na wate anguba anguba they are not the forefather sio mababu yao the forefathers of my children today mababu wa baba wa watoto wangu leo they are abraham isaac and jacob and jacobo and you say my daughter unasema msichana wangu my son msikita wangu tonight leo i establish you ninakuweka hivi leo on the right foundation katika mshingi bora you are god fearing wewe ni mtu unayeogopa mungu we lift in shame tuliishi kwa aibu you are living in there is no guilt in you na hata hakuna kwa peculiar wewe ni mtu you are unique wewe ni mtu wa kipekee you are original wewe ni wa wa you are present wewe ambaye uko you don't live the life of shadow tuliishi maisha ya kivuli we live to live oishi as we perish bila tuliangamia tumefumilia maisha yes hauta ya kumilia maisha mm. na kutangazia kwa jina la Yesu mm. ya kwamba heri ya Mungu baraka za Mungu faneka ya Mungu itakuwa portion yako katika jina la Yesu vitu vinavyohangaisha watoto wa watu afita kupata na vipatane na miguu yako utaruka majivu ya wachawi utaruka mamitanga za wachawi but you will still be glorified in God Amen. utaruka vitu nyingi lakini utamtukuza Mungu Hello hello Abantu bebe tarele baba para ni kwa father sbanje shauri yao Ah watu wenye wako putene wakifikiria ati yao ni mababu zangu ni shauri yao Shauri yao shauri yao haba wanje baba lepsa wacha waendelewa kiongea ongea yes, kwa fathers be manye bibi babu zangu ni abram isaac abram isaac na yakob the fathers of faith baba wa imani may you join my family also ukaweza kuunganika pamoja na jamii so we share the same fathers ili kwamba tukaweza kushiriki pamoja na mababu zetu haleluya bali amataika hapo kabla hapo mama kuwa hata damu yao haina maneno Mataika bange na Isaac Abraham Oh damu ya kina Isaac Abraham na Yakobo kabla hapo mama kuwa haina maneno lakini kama angena mkoba ni ah kama damu ya kina bange na maloba au wakina maloba bange na maende wakina maende abuko abuko na wate na wate damu yao bange na ura wakina maura bange na shibia na shimia bange na munala na munala ama zaika damu yao karibu ifi sinyo iko vitu vya kumudhi zimbo toha ee wako na chuki eshe fuwando wako na vitu vya ibu wa ibu wa mesi hako na ulevi obo hei hata usharati obo tamba hata umaskimu ufuna kwa maria hata shiba teshi nchata hata hawa wale wangu shiba khoyera weshi hata hawa jufurashi shiba soma angata hata uwa wa somi bafu itanga luwa wana kufa mapenda shiba ongo angata hata hawa jenji shiba teshi nchata hata hawa wa wale wia wa owi 
Tonya nama zai Kenya. Yoye baki na damu yako yoku. Balena. Numwenye ni mwishesia. Eh, mkitaka unisalimie. Ule, ingata mbe. Kama mkitaki ubaki. That's what it means by getting kiti. Iyo kiyo sababu ya kumanisha kuweka mtoto wa kifu. Let me finish. Wacha ni marizia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah, let's start. Kina nabwana libariki. Amen. 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 A queen, I want you to know. Sister Queen, I take you to In Isaiah 44, verse 24. Katika kitabu cha Isaiah 49. This is what the Lord says. Yini vebana na sema. You are a dima who formed you in your mother's womb. Yumu kombozi wako ndi aliye kuumba katika tumbe mamata. I am the Lord. Mimi ni buwana. The maker of all things. Mumbaji wa vyote. Who stretches out heavens. Ambaye ye upanua mbingu. Who spreads out the earth. Yeye ndi ambaye ametamalaki katika uli mengumzimu. Verse 28 he says. Stano wa shirona na kasema. Your foundations shall be established. Ya kwamba musingi wako utasimama imara. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah, bless you the name of Jesus. Jina labana libarikiwe. Those are the words the Lord spoke unto you. Iye ndi omaneno buwana ananena kwa. Now look here. Sasa angalia. The only way. Njia tu. By which. Ambayo. You can advance that which God the priests pack unto you while you are dedicated. Iya manena ambayo ona bi alinena ju ya majaya po kiweba wapi. It is when you connect with the altar. Wakati ambapo una unganisho na madabao. Some of you, wengi ne wengi, there are things that were spoken over your life. Vitu kuna vitu ambayo vile neno kinyume na majaya. You are not seeing them. How we only? Because you are not servicing your altar. Kwa sababu wewe hautolei. Let me use this opportunity to. Wacha ni tumia umo na fasi. As you go home today. Wakati na pende nyumbani. Just go find a sacrifice. Henda tu utafuta dabi huko. Speak to it. E inene. And say. Na useme. God. Mungu. I could not hear. Ata singeweza kusikia. What the priests pack upon my life when I was being dedicated. Ata singwa na kila ufamu kujua kila mbato kuhani ni nena juu mashamba. It doesn't matter. The denomination. He could have been from Catholic. He could be have been from transforming grace. He could have been from Word of Life. Or it's the other ministry. One thing I know. When I was presented to the altar, the priests planted a seed in me. And by speaking some certain words, let those words become active now. As I take this sacrifice to the Lord, activate that one. Because when he spake that word, they were malfunctioned by your parents' irresponsibility over raising it. Hallelujah. But the seed did not die. You can activate the seed. You will see a change in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I ask you to stand up, ladies and gentlemen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Third John chapter one verse one chapter one verse four. Yohana. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children are walking in the truths of God. Look at that. My good God. Tafadhali wazazi. Wazazi tafadhali. Wakati wa mama wengine wa majilea wa tuto wao. Wanatabea siku na mkuu siku na sina bela na nyuma. Mkuongo wa si. Hundo kato. Siku pitu si. I don't know those names. Kitu imefika wapi. Ah ah. Make up a covenant with the Lord. Tengeneza agano na mungu. That your children will be sober. Ya kwamba watoto wako watakuwa na ufahamu. Wataba bisuri. Watajifunika bisuri. Watajilinda. Mpaka wafike katika mbe wazao. Na unene yu roho ilio kuangaisha hata weo Bwana sifiwe Ya kwamba haitapata mtoto kuyu Bwana sifiwe Ukiwa na watoto kadha Unaisa tafuta sadaka Unaitanisha na majina hawa watoto wote Unasema mungu katika sadaka hii Nina tamuka jina la huyu mtoto Na huyu na huyu na huyu na huyu Bwana tafadhali katika jina la yesu You know ladies and gentlemen They just shall live by faith Wenye haki watanishi tupa imani Everything about God is here Yesu tuchote kuhuzu tu mungu ni imani These are words Haya ni maneno That are being spoken by David Ambaya ni neno na Daudi After now he recognizes Baada ya kutambua Where he came from Mani ya litoka Prince Mwangi is yet to come to a certain age Prince Mwangi hapa kuna atafika katika kiwa When he will recognize Baada ya kutambua ya kwamba That is where he came from 
kuna mahali ambapo alitoka haleluya haleluya when he recognizes wakati akatambua hivyo he will confess as it is in Psalms 139 ata ata ata, ata kiri kama vile iko kwa saburi 130 mstari wa 13 mstari mstari wa for you created me in my inmost being ulinitengeneza undani wangu you need me together in my mother's womb uliniumba pamoja na ulinishonesha katika tumbo ya mamangu i therefore praise you sasa nina kusifu because i am fearfully and wonderfully made sasa sababu hivyo ni mimi ni mtu wa ajabu ambaye nimeumbwa kwa mfano and your works are wonderful na kazi zako ni za ajabu ah, ah my good god mungu wangu mwema you need me in my mother's womb ulinishonesha katika tumbo ya mama and fearfully and wonderfully made mimi nimetengenezwa katika hali Now look at this. Sasa angalia hapa. For that child to come to a level where he confesses that. Wakati huyu mtoto atafika kwa kiwango cha kukira haya maneno. That is to say, ndio ni kusema he shall have advanced above. Atakuwa ame ame ameinuka kiwango fulani from walking in your faith now. Kutoka kutembea katika imani. He shall walk in your grace. Atatembea kwa neema yako. But now he shall not only walk in your faith. Na hata atatembea huenda ikawa atembea katika jia. He shall have come kwa sababu atakuwa amefika umri fulani where now he needs to give his life to Christ amani ambapo atafika apeane maisha yake kwa Yesu listen to me nisikilize getting a child kuweka mtoto wa kifungu it is not praying for salvation si kuombea mtoto uokovu when he comes to an age atafika miaka fulani when he is able to know the evil and good ambapo atajua mema na mabaya you will also guide him hata wewe utamuongoza so that he gives his life to ili kwamba apeane maisha yake kwa Yesu he gives his life to wakati anapeana maisha yake kwa Yesu he begins his new life anaanza maisha yake mapya as an independent person kuwa ni mtu ambaye anajitegemea working and walking under his faith kutembea katika imani yake but under the portion of your grace kuingia katika sehemu ya neema yake somebody will get me now mtu ananipata your children will not get in heaven because you are born again watoto wako hawata na mbinguni kwa sababu umezaliwa mara nyingi good am an honorable man of god na sasa nashukuru mungu kwa sababu mimi ni mheshimiwa wa mungu my children will not give their life to jesus watoto wangu kama hawatapenda maisha yao kwa yesu they will still go in hell watawenda tu jehanamu my mother will still go in hell mamangu ataenda tu jehanamu she gives her life to christ kama hatapenda maisha yake kwa yesu hallelujah hallelujah now, queen, i want to give you an opportunity eh, dada queen nataka uelewe hii na kupata nafasi speak to that life unene haya maisha to speak to that child unene huyo mtoto when you close your eyes wakati umefunga macho yako unaweza ona in relation to where you come from unaangalia mahali ulitoka as you will be speaking wakati unaponena every one of us can be pray kila mmoja wetu mwenye yuko mahali hapa anza kuombea pray for prince one ombea break every foundation of evil funja kila kila misingi ya uovu format of evil kila hali yote ya uovu the devils of his motherland katika maisha ya mahali mmaka anatoka that could be associated with ambayo inaweza kuwa imeshikana na yeye as at the time of the cutting of the apple kwa wakati wa kukata hizi ile ile that was spoken by the person in question ambaye ilikuwa imewekwa kama maswali katika maisha yake that they will never find room again ya kwamba haitatafuta nafasi tena they find shop there kuanzia hapo and the queen as you do that queen wakati unapofanya hivyo bless your child bariki mtoto wako give him a future mupatie maisha exactly as his name is nena tamuka jina lake jina lake may the name of you nete hata tangaza jina la yesu not die as your father hata kuwa kufa kama watoto wao baba zao tutakuwa tabona hata pitia yale ambayo umepitia you are a pioneer we kingdom wewe ni wale wale wazidishi wa yote wewe unashikilia mfano ili ya kwamba Paulo katika kizazi hiki ubariki katika lugha yako unaweza omba hata kwa kikuyu wakunene katika loro friends kuna mfuniko na watu wengi sana friends friends my god friends mema mungu mema oh my god dio mungu wangu the guy looks handsome eh jamaa huyu ni mrembo the guy looks handsome anaonekana and he looks active Yes, breathe it now. My good God, my good God. Wangu mwema. Prince Mwangi, Prince Mwangi. Today, leo, in the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu, on this altar. Katika madhabahu haya, as the priest of God. Kama nabii wa Bwana Mungu. Give it your father to your mother. Katika kama baba wa kiroho wa mama yako. I agree together with your mother. Ninakubaliana na mama yako. That you are a blessing from the Lord. Ya kwamba wewe ni baraka kutoka kwa Mungu. And so tonight in Jesus name. Leo katika jina la Yesu, I dedicate you. Ninakuweka wakfu. 
into the kingdom of God. I didn't get to you into the bloodline of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Tonight, in Jesus' name, I disconnect you from the bloodline that you had been connected to through your umbilical cord by your forefathers of this house. In the name of Jesus, I declare every given form of evil that is associated to your ambition which you are attached to in the monkey upon whose name you are called today I separate I call you the blessed word of God I call you the justified of God I declare you to be a carrier of the glory of God yes in the name of Jesus Leave you now. They leave you now. They leave you now. Every evil mouth from the patterns of your people that speak upon your life while you are still in your mother's womb. They expected you to fulfill their, 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 their will. Tonight, let it be known by the hands of the Lord. Are dysfunctional and a given statement written upon the face of your life. I erase it by the blood of Jesus. And again upon your life, I speak the blood of Jesus. That speak better things than the blood of Abel. In the name of Jesus, you are blessed. You are blessed. Glorified of God. Glorified of God. Exactly as the name indicates you are a true prince in the name of Jesus may your life be glorified God. may you grow up in wisdom and in stature with no confusion I speak excellence over you may you excel in academics and I pray to please set the heart of God to give every resources needed for the sake of your academics you shall not be sick. You shall not be tortured. And the circumstances and the situations of this life. Amen. Amen. God bless you. It is well. Shalom, Prince. Shalom. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Thank you. Take the child now. Thank you. And Father, I receive this sacrifice. Baba, I receive in the name of Jesus that bears the name of Princess Mwanki. I pray the name of Jesus that Lord the word spoken by his parents over this in expectations concerning expectations they have on their son let this word in favor in your presence oh Lord even to the other children I speak the sufficiency of the grace of God upon them let it be well Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. You can take your seat. You can take your seat. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And before we finish up, I request everybody to stand up. Bring me your gift for Prince. Bring me your gift for Prince. Oh, they have been brought. Bring, bring them. Okay. Hello. Hello. My good God. Mungu wangu mwema. My Jesus. Mungu wangu Yesu wangu. My Jesus. Yesu wangu. I don't want to look into it. Sitaki kuangalia. But it's a blessed stuff. Ni 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 baraka, muziki wa baraka. Let us bless this prince with all of this gift. Waacha tupeane hizi hizi zawadi zote kwa prince. How many allow me to bless prince? Wakati wanakubaliana ya kwamba tupeane. Thank you so much uncle. Uncle njomba kujachukua hii. May the Lord bless you. Mungu akubariki sana. Mungu akubariki. God bless you. We will bless the other child when he comes also. And now because you have also blessed Prince, may your children be blessed. Before. You may not know how, but may they be preserved of God. Take your offering, your time, your sacrifice, if there is in the house. Speak to it.